many students have been asking me about a very prominent SEO plugin called Rank Math. So in this video, let me explain to you how that works and how it compares to the Yoast SEO plugins because these are competitors. So in your WordPress dashboard under plugins, what you can do is click on add new plugin and it's gonna take you to the screen where you search for plugins. As you can see, I typed in rank math in the search and it brought up this rank math SEO. What you wanna do is obviously install that. Just like Yoast SEO, there's a free and a paid option. Everybody usually starts for free, sees whether the free options are sufficient for them and if they are not, they upgrade to the paid option. But most people start for free, so you click on install now. Once it's installed, you'll click activate and then it's gonna ask you to connect your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can make your own new account or as you can see, I already have an account with them that I made with my Gmail. So it's gonna connect this website with Rank Math. So it's gonna say, okay, activate now. Just make sure that under this URL, the correct URL is showing that you actually want to use Rank Math for because otherwise it will create some problems. So just verify this, that is the right website that you wanna connect. And if it is, you click, okay, activate now. There are a few setup steps that come with this plugin and I'm gonna walk you through these. Generally, Rank Math provides really good defaults for you. So actually you want to choose the easy option because most of the options they choose are the optimal ones. So you click easy, then start wizard. Then if you already have Yoast SEO, you wanna import that data from there just so it doesn't start from scratch. Or you can for now say skip, don't import. And very important, it's gonna ask you for a lot of information here. This is actually really useful because from this information, Rank Math is going to create your markup schema. And schema is really great for search engines. Like if you wanna explain something to a person, you use English. But if you wanna explain something to a search engine, you use schema. So with the help of schema, Google is gonna understand your website better and hopefully rank you higher and provide richer search results about your website in search when people search, which means there's gonna be more content about your website on the search results page, which is gonna increase your click-through rate. So you wanna choose whatever kind of website you have, give it a name, the website alternate name might be your brand. It's not referring to your registered company name, but maybe just your brand, then the person or organization name, like in my case, it would be my name, Alex Kinodinik. Then you want to upload the image for your logo. That's gonna get used in search results and increase your click-through rate. Square images are best for this. And then very importantly, default social sharing image. So if anybody ever shares a page of yours, any page, but that page doesn't have a default image, this is gonna help it pull an optimal image from your website. So just make sure you create a nice branded image. Hopefully you already have one or you can easily make one with your branding and set it to these dimensions and click save and continue. Or in my case, I'm just gonna skip this step just for the sake of speed. But in your case, if you're really setting this up, don't skip this step, but actually go through every step and upload the right information because it's gonna actually help you when Rank Math is gonna create your XML schema. And by the way, Yoast can also create your XML schema, but generally speaking, people use one or the other. In a few seconds, I'm gonna to explain to you the main differences of which one to use, because there's a lot of confusion since these are competitors. A lot of people don't know which one they should choose. And I'll talk about that in a few seconds. But for now, let's skip this step. And as we skip the steps, you see on top, we're getting closer to being ready and you can connect your analytics and things like that. If you have Google Analytics set up, you can connect it. If you have the Google Search Console set up, you can connect it. If you don't have those set up yet, you can wait to have them connected. And if you wanna wait, you can click on skip the step and you are ready. Now, when you go to your dashboard of your WordPress, what you'll see is this really rich set of features. Not all of them are free. You see some of them are under the pro account, but you do get a lot of features for free. And you can find this on the left side of your WordPress setup. As you can see, you can toggle and expand this. So for example, 
if I click on anywhere else like landing pages or just pages that expands that. So what you would do is click on your rank math SEO and this is where you'll get all of these great features. And what you want to do is go through them. And for example, things like titles and meta, it gives you a lot of options for what to do. It's richer here than in Yoast. You can also use the SEO analyzer. For example, like you can click the start SEO analyzer and it will give you ideas for what to fix. Yoast also offers similar features. They vary a little bit, but in general, because there are so many features and this plugin offers some and Yoast offers some, what I would say is this plugin, Rank Math, offers more features that are free, which leads us to, if we go to pricing, I'm gonna toggle to the browser tab I have open with the Rank Math website. Under pricing, you have the pricing for the SEO plugins. The pro is $7 a month, and if you wanna go and buy it, it will be $83 for the whole year. On the other hand, if you go and try to buy Yoast SEO, the good thing about Yoast SEO is that now, as you can see, they have Yoast for Shopify. So if you're not on WordPress, but if you're on Shopify, you can definitely search for Yoast within Shopify and it will help you a lot. But if you wanna explore the Yoast Premium, you see it's $99 per year. So it's a little more expensive. So generally speaking, I would try the rank math option first just because of two reasons. One, it gives you more features for free. And if you ever want to upgrade, it's cheaper. So you'll never have to switch your SEO plugins and you will never have to reinstall everything because if you want to upgrade, it's the cheaper option anyway. So you get more for free. And if you ever upgrade, it's cheaper. So definitely you can play around with both. But because of the two reasons I outlined, many people today are opting to try the rank math option first.